I should probably start fishing here pretty soon. Kind of avoiding it. All right, you guys. Skiing was awesome. So that's the end of part one. And uh, now we're going fishing. We've got about a two hour drive to the fishing spot. Enjoy the ride. a bunch of farms and stuff. It's really pretty. Alright, don't be surprised if we come across the yellow van driving around out here. You might know who I'm talking about. All right, here it is. I told you guys it was a desert. So this is just a spot by the cars. Uh, a little further up, I think it widens out. I bought my waiting staff just in case, but I don't think it's gonna be too deep. So given that it's the middle of March, most of the snow around here has already melted off. What we're seeing here might just be the normal flow. A little higher, I think. So there were a couple cars in the parking lot. Uh, looks like they might have been camping. I didn't see anybody, so maybe we'll bump into a couple people. Oh, just saw a beaver. Kind of right in there. That wasn't fast enough with the camera. So you might be wondering why I drove two and a half hours to get here when there was probably water closer by. Right now being March, most of the small moving water that I like to fish is closed right now. Uh, this place is open year round. It's pretty popular. Uh, some of you might recognize it. So it does, it does see a fair amount of pressure. I have been here once before. It was pretty windy. It's not too bad today. It was, it was much worse. And I was kind of out on a scouting trip, and so I got here kind of late. Wasn't really planning on fishing, but I didn't catch anything. But there are fish here. Uh, trout, I'm not quite sure what kind. I'll look it up and maybe put it on the, on the video to tell you guys what's here. Oh yeah, that's nice and dark and green. Nothing's rising, that's for sure. I did just walk through a bunch of bugs. Kind of scanning it to see if I see anything swimming around in there. Well, I want to keep going. So that was cool. Getting up in the mountain and skiing. I forgot to look at the thermometer, guys. It was probably close to, I'd say 38 when we got there. And then when we left, it was probably closer to 48 about 10 degrees warmer here. It was about 54. I think is what the thermometer said. So I'm kind of hot 
The wind's making it look like it's going this way, but the flow is actually going that way. Oh, it's just gorgeous here though. So I'm using a Tenkara rod, a 13 foot Tenkara rod. It's from um, Tenkara Rod Company, Owahi. I think I said that right. And it's my longest, my longest rod. So I'll have that in a 13 foot line. I'm gonna go check out these, these rapids real quick. Coming back to this spot, right below those, some oxygen and whatever else is kicked out from the turbulent water. I'm just gonna keep walking. I think it's maybe close to four o'clock or so. I'm not quite sure. I just knew that I wasn't gonna leave until I caught a fish or until it got dark. Sun keeps popping in and out of these little clouds. I've got my cool sunglasses that I can adjust when I need to. Now I know, sorry to make you suffer through that. It's pretty much my only option. I don't like taking a spare pair of sunglasses and swapping out glasses. This is pretty convenient, so I'll just keep doing that. I should probably start fishing here pretty soon. Kind of avoiding it. I don't know if you guys ever do that. I still feel a little bit free from the shame of not catching anything. If that happens to be what happens. That's right, I got to ski today. That's pretty cool. And a beautiful drive. So, I'm having fun. I hope you guys are. This is my first YouTube video. I've been playing around and experimenting a whole bunch. I might not publish it first. I have another idea I want to do. Nothing nothing this this intense. I kind of set the bar a little high skiing and fishing if I happen to catch one. It was more of a scramble because the snow is starting to melt really fast and I was like, I don't want to wait a whole nother year. Hang on. I felt like that was kind of dark. I just don't want to have to wait around a whole nother year to do a, a ski fish day. Just thought I would go for it and see what happened. This system goes pretty far back and I don't feel like I I mean, even close to the good stuff. I don't know, maybe I am. It's looking a little bit better now. Kind of a hole up here. I'm thinking right here might be kind of good. I wonder if I can get over there. Walk along that other side. Maybe I fish right here before I scare anything away. All right, I'm gonna get set up. Okay, so I got my rod out. This was my second rod. I've got a 12 foot and then this 13 foot. I actually don't use it that much. Uh, the cork's still pretty clean on it. Um, it's just longer than I need, but you know, I've got it and I'm here and I wanted a long rod. I've got some flies that I tie and I never really quite, I never tie, I never quite tie the same fly twice. I just kind of get bored when I'm tying flies and so I start getting crazy and make stuff up. So. Um, but I've got one that looks kind of like a little baby fish, maybe. I rigged everything up last night, so I've got the thing already tied on. I just need to get it onto the, the car rod. All right, I am going to fish this spot right here. I'm going to sneak up there and see if I can uh, get anybody to eat this thing. The reason I got took the long rod is because I knew this place was really brushy. And I can get over the top of it all. I might have to try a different fly here. Just kind of riding along that seam. I figured if it was any kind of a, any kind of food, it would be floating in that spot. 
I know these fish here spook super easy. It's like I said, this place is fairly well known. All right, I'm about ready to give up on this spot. I want to get to the other side of that bank. I'm gonna get wet now. Let's see if I can cross. Oh, that was easy. Although I can tell right there though, it gets really deep real fast. I might work my way up there. I'm gonna go with this a little kabari. over there if I can get in there. I actually don't really know how to fish this kind of water so much. I'm used to pocket water and not so much slower creeks with the deep holes. If I just stayed with what I know, then I wouldn't be able to do a ski fish day. Oh, hey! Well, ski fish day is officially verified. All right, let me get down there, help this little guy out. Oh, he's a monster. At least he didn't swallow the hook. Okay. Let me see if I can get that out for you, bud. All right, that counts. I never said the size of the fish had to matter. Um, I'm gonna keep going though, because that guy was fun, but not as satisfying as I thought it would be. But anyways, ski fish day, I was able to do it. <laughs> oh man, I'm a big dork, aren't I? Well, we'll see, maybe I can redeem myself with something bigger. Um, and usually where there's small fish, there's big mommy and daddy fish. Let's go see if I can find his, uh, his parents. Gonna head down to where I see some sun. I'm gonna keep this little fly. That little guy wanted it. Now I want to be on the other side. Now I want to be over there. Right there. Hey, I caught a fish though. Big fish, little fish. That was a fish. I mean, who knows how big it would have gotten. And if it gets huge, I can still say that I caught that fish. And if that fish becomes the biggest fish in this whole place, I caught it. All right, sure is pretty here though. This is a really bad habit, by the way. Don't do this. If I get snagged, I'm breaking my tip for sure. Too lazy to actually take in the last two segments. A little bit of sun left. Oh, see right here looks really fishy too. I'm gonna throw in this little nymph here I tied. Figure there's gotta be one stupid fish in there that doesn't know what it is. Just take a look at that. It's just so pretty. All right, you guys, sun's going down. I fished a bunch without any luck. Didn't want to waste your time. But hey, I was at the top of a mountain today and I skied and then I came and fished. And even though it was little, I caught something and that was the whole point. It's just beautiful out here though. So I'm glad to share it with you guys. And just know that I'm grateful that I can do this kind of thing, you know that everybody can and that's something special i'm hoping to make some more videos um they're probably just going to be me fishing not so much uh 
skiing and fishing. Um, I just needed to go out and, and, uh, and do this before all the snow melted. What an amazing day. I'm glad you guys got to see it. All right, thank you.